normies and non-normies. So I am back. I just recorded the previous episode that should be uploading or will be uploaded before this one because I am doing a podcast. And I decided since I was going to do two different topics, just do two different videos for the topics instead of taking you from here to there. I'm trying to be consistent with my content and with the topics that I'm talking about. So I just figured this would be easier. So I'm just giving y'all, you know what I'm saying, a brief message. Um, I did talk about what, you know, my good news in the in the previous video. So y'all may want to watch that. Um, y'all don't have to watch it before this. Y'all really don't because um, it's two different topics. So it's fine. And y'all see my nails filled because it's damn glue. And then I lost one nail. So I, I can glue them all on and put my backup nail, which I should probably do that. Don't know why I haven't done that yet. I think I'm just waiting for all of them to fall off on their own. Um, and then I'm just going to probably create another set. Um, because this one right here, this color, I swear to you, sometimes when I move my fingers, I'd be thinking they're roaches. And I'll jump when my pinky moves and I'd be like, damn it, girl, that was you, dummy. That was you. That was you. Alright, so let's get back into the podcast. Because um, I didn't start recording since I wanted to give you guys a heads up of what I'm talking about. Um, or what just tr- transpired before I get back on the podcast because the podcast is going to have both episodes together in one um, both topics together in one episode um, so we're going to jump right in alright welcome back welcome back so I gave YouTube a little you know, description of what was going on before I got on here because I didn't want to just start the video with YouTube and then don't know what the heck I'm talking about but this topic that I want to discuss with you guys is on co-parenting Do you guys struggle with your co-parent? Like, I want to know because I am struggling. It is a pain in the ass. Like, I feel like no matter how much I communicate, I'm not being heard or I'm not being taken serious. And it's so annoying and so frustrating, okay? So, for all who know, well, no, I'm not going to say that because, yeah, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. Never mind. It's frustrating to co-parent. Especially when you're trying to tell the co-parent, like, hey, I would like to talk to my child at least once a day when, you know, she's with you. Just so I can say goodnight at least. And just know from my peace of mind and my anxiety and my mental health that she's okay. Because I got to see her and I got to say goodnight and I got to say I love you. You know, and things like that. But it falls upon deaf ears. The first time, the first week... No problem. I was getting my calls. I, my anxiety was awesome. I was good to go. But these last two weeks, I can't get not one call. Last week, I got my text messages resp- were responded back to. But this week, my text messages are being ignored. And I don't. It irritates my soul, and it bothers me, and it pisses me off, because I don't care how many times my child will ask me to talk to you. I will call. I'll call and I'll give her the phone so she can talk and do whatever her little heart desires, you know what I'm saying, with her data. Um, but I can't get the same common courtesy and that shit pisses me off. Like it really does because respectfully I don't call. And the reason why I do not call is because one, I don't know what they're doing and I don't want to interrupt their time together. I try to respect the time that she has with him as her time with him. So I don't call because then I don't want her to be homesick and say she wants to come home because it's happened a couple of times. So I wait for them to call me, but the call never comes. And even when I send a text message now, it's like no answer. And it's really just pissing me off because as a parent, I should know how my kid is doing and I should know if my kid is okay. Just like... I can tell you how your kid's doing, if your kid's doing okay, and you're talking to your kid almost every day, you know what I'm saying, because she's calling you at least two times a day or three times a day sometimes by her choice because she's asking, so why can't I get the same common courtesy? Why can't I get the same respect? And again, I don't want to interrupt their time, so I'm trying to give respect to both of them, but... Meanwhile, I'm over here with a high anxiety because I can't talk to my kid. 
I don't know if my kid is good. I don't know if my kid is okay. I haven't seen her beautiful face. Like, it's frustrating. It's annoying because, come on. Like, I know y'all get mad when people don't respond back to your text messages. Now, imagine if it's the other parent and they have your child. You're going to get even more ticked off. And then I always have to be the nice one. And that's irritating me. It triggers a lot of my PTSD and it just triggers my anxiety and it just makes it very fucking difficult to um process and do shit like it's fucking annoying like can we just all be adults here please and then as a mom it makes me feel like i'm just you're trying to erase me out of her life but i carried her nine months and it's been me from day one I mean, can I get that common courtesy? Like, I don't even get a thank you for all this shit that I do on my own. And I literally do it all on my own. And I've been doing it all on my own for 20 years. Well, for about 15 years with one. About 10 years with the other one. And four years with the other one. I've been doing it all on my own. It's been just me, day in and day out, 365 days out of the year, 24 hours, 7 days a week. Sick, nightmares, hungry, clothes, necessities, wants. You know what I'm saying? It's all been me. Like, and it still is all me, except for the little bit of child support my son was getting. So finally, I was doing something. But that started four years ago, and it's been on and off, 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 inconsistent. And to be honest with you, I just rather not have it. Like, I'm not a mom to be like, oh, I got a baby daddy now. We're not together. Let me go to child support. That's not me. I don't have that time. Who wants to be sitting in and out of anybody's court system? Who wants to keep having to drag somebody else to court? I don't have the patience for that. Um, My theory is common sense says it takes money to survive. So just do right. Do right. Just do right. How hard is it to just do right? That's it. That's all I'm saying. It's not that difficult. You need to eat, don't you? You need clothes, don't you? So what do you think these kids need? The same exact thing. And I got to cover everything on a limited income. Like, I don't ask for a lot. I literally was asking for like $50 a week just to help me because then I can put another 50 that's a hundred dollars I can spend on clothes or shoes that are needed halfway meet me halfway that's all I'm asking and I can't get that and it's frustrating and it's irritating and it's stressful and it's annoying and it's just ridiculous it just makes no sense to me in no shape way or form like at all and that's why I'm talking about the topic now because I haven't spoken to my child since she left here on Wednesday and today's Friday I haven't seen her beautiful face since she left here on Wednesday and haven't heard her wonderful voice since she left here on Wednesday and just because I'm misunderstood or I'm not understood doesn't mean I don't deserve the consideration and respect Because without my ovaries and my body carrying her, she would not be here right now. In no shape, way, or form. So, can I get that respect, please? Can I get that common courtesy? But, what are your thoughts on co-parenting? How do you co-parent? If you co-parent, how's it going for you? Like, have you guys been able to find a routine that works? Like, I'm homeschooling her, so it irritates me now because she's leaving from Wednesday to Saturday afternoon. Wednesday afternoon to Saturday afternoon. So I have to fit in her curriculum Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning. I don't want to overwhelm her because then I have to try to make up for Thursday and Friday since she's not going to be here. And that shit is frustrating. It's frustrating. But I wish that I could know how my baby's doing. And see her happiness because I love to see her happy like I love to see her smile 
I really like I hate it when she cries because it really does tug at my heartstrings unless she made me mad if she made me mad and that's a whole nother story but um or if she did something defiantly on purpose knowing that she shouldn't have did it then yeah I'm not it's not gonna tug at my heartstrings I'm gonna tell her your tears don't mean anything to me because you were the one that did wrong and then I'll sit there and I'll explain to her but I gotta pull my nose I need paper towel um sorry y'all I got a piece my lips are chapped and um yeah I just wanted to see like am I the only one going through dumb stuff like this is anybody else going through something dumb like this and if so how y'all coping with it how y'all dealing with it how are you guys you know going about it cause it's stressful for me <laughs> It is dead ass stressful for me to the point that I even want to smoke another cigarette. And I just smoked one. But this is how stressed out I am about not seeing my child. My anxiety levels are high. And it sucks. I don't like when my anxiety is high because it makes me feel off. Like, And then I'm always like battling an anxiety attack or a panic attack when my anxiety is high. Then I don't know what to do with myself. I can't sit still sometimes, or I can't focus. Um, yeah, so that's what co-parenting does to me. I think that's why I'm such a selfish parent. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really would love to know. Like, how do you co-parent? How do you deal with your situation? You know what I'm saying? Is it a good situation? Is it a bad situation? Um, is it a toxic one? Is it one that stresses you out? Or is it one that just runs so smooth that it's like there's no issues, you feel me? No problems. Um, damn, the fly, oh, it didn't leave. Damn, it left. I was about to kill the fly. Um, so yeah, comment down below and let me know. Oh, my fly swatter was falling, sorry, y'all. Comment down below and let me know, like, for real. Like, I would love to hear how you guys cope and deal with it, because... I'm trying to find some techniques and how I can deal with it and I can cope with it besides smoking a hella, hella weed and cigarettes like I can't keep doing that that's not healthy either um there's these pills these vitamins that I took they taste so nasty when you burp who they taste so nasty and they smell so nasty and every time I burp I'm just burping the damn vitamins ugh adding some more coffee in my stomach maybe it'll make these damn vitamins dissolve quicker but um yeah i would definitely like to hear your thoughts and um see how y'all feel about or maybe you got some good suggestions for me um i'd appreciate it as well but i'm gonna leave y'all here okay and thank you so much for being a follower a subscriber thank you for the comments and the likes and just being a part of our family and um resonating with my content to the point that you wanted to subscribe like i really do appreciate it um i got 186 followers now so i just recently got some new followers and it feels good to see that my channel is growing but it feels even better when i know that people are being motivated by my trials and tribulations or just being motivated by the BS that I go through. That means a lot. So whenever anybody that has mental health comments, it puts a big smile on my face. It really does. And it warms my heart because I'm here for you guys. You know, I am an open book and my life is on here, good and bad because I don't want anyone to feel alone the way that I felt alone all these years you know and I don't want anyone to have to live with that mask on when they're amazing just the way they are like you may not resonate with everybody or everybody fuck, may not understand you but I do there goes the fly again I do I resonate I understand you know, I realize life is harder than what it should be and the depression can get ugly and the PTSD can get horrible and the bipolar can be a true bitch. I know what it's like. And I 
I'm trying to show it all in different lights as possible as I can. Um, so again, just thank you so much for watching and hopefully you won't forget to like the video. Um, and have a blessed day, okay? No matter what comes your way, don't let anybody rock your boat. You're amazing the way you are. You're fantastic the way you are. Love you guys.